Okay everyone, time for an update with the 747 Space Shuttle. I have finished putting the 747 together. Yay! Okay. Um, I haven't done the landing gear. I'm going to save those for after painting. I may actually glue the landing gear doors on here before I paint. I may not. I'm trying to decide what I want to do there. Thinking I'm going to glue them on after paint because there's going to be some rough handling while it paints and masking. But I finally got her all together. Some of the tricky spots were the rear tail fins, getting them aligned right. They didn't want to align correctly and getting these aligned vertically and parallel to the body of the plane. Th that was the hard part. Plus, there was some nasty seams to fill on these guys. So let's zoom in a little bit so we can do an overview of her. Okay. You, again, you can see some of the seam filling I had to do on those. And you can see that there is a lot of seam filling on this thing. Again, the worst part of it was the seam along here. It wasn't level. One side was definitely higher than the other. Okay. But this thing's ready to start getting some paint squirted on it. And that's going to happen in the next day or two. Uh, three colors of paint. We have gray. We have white and we have silver or aluminum um, I'm gonna paint the gray I think I'm gonna paint the white the gray then the silver I'm gonna save the silver for last because if I well let's just put it this way the silver paint has some problems with it I'm using a Rust-Oleum product I'm not gonna use Tamiya paints on that because I want something that's bright and shiny that looks like aluminum. And um, to my paints aren't going to stick to it. Nothing really sticks to that paint. So I can't use it as a primer coat. So I'm going to save it for last so all the other paint coats are down. Um, hopefully there won't be any overspray because overspray with that stuff is going to ruin this thing. I can't paint over it. But anyhow, that's done. Now to the space shuttle. Let me set this little guy aside where he won't get hurt. Okay, I want a drum roll. What the hell was that? That was not a drum roll. Sound department, get your ass together. Get me a drum roll. What the hell? Okay. I asked for a drum roll. No, 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 no. Give me a drum roll, okay? Yeah. Next time we'll have some issues. Get me a drum roll. There we go. And presenting the shuttle. She is done. All the paint is done. So, what I'm going to do is in real time, I am going to unwrap this, okay? Now, let me talk about it a little bit. The gray paint was done with a brush. I did not spray this gray paint on here on the edge of the wings. I did mask and I went through my usual process. I painted my base coat of white, I masked, I repainted in white, then I painted black, I masked, I repainted black, then I painted the gray. The reason I did the repaint in the white and the repaint in the black is to um, stop paint link under the tape. I'm going to see if that stops paint link under the tape. There were a couple of places I didn't push the tape down real well just to see if it would stop it. Okay? So, be back in a second. I'm going to unwrap this thing in real time. I'm not going to make you guys watch that. I'll speed the video up. But I'm going to videotape unwrapping it completely. So, back in a sec.
Okay, I'm back. Now, is it good? Would I need to hear this sound? Or should I hear this sound? Well, time for the video that you guys can actually see. Some of you probably paid attention during the untaping, okay? So let's zoom in on the star tonight and let's take a look. Obviously some paint leaked through my tape right there, okay? There's supposed to be a black edge right there. I can fix that with a black sharpie, so I'm going to fix it. Some paint leaked through there. Most of my paint leaked through was where I brush painted instead of spray painting. So there's a lesson to you. If you're going to brush paint over tape, I did that on purpose. I wanted to see what would happen. Again, this, this thing's about learning, not about necessarily doing. Okay? So everywhere I brush painted, there were paint leaks. For sure. On the underside, one side came out nice and sharp. The other side didn't. Again, I can take a paintbrush and a Sharpie and fix that. A little bit of paint leak right there. The nose is a major disappointment. That isn't even round. That's just a blob. So I'm going to have to really fix that. I can fix that with a brush. This black band was supposed to go all the way around and it didn't. That's my taping fault, not anything else. That's supposed to be square. I'm going to have to square that up. But again, that's not too hard to do. The windshield came out really well. Um, I'm going to have to fix this up a little bit, but that's not too bad. There were some major paint leak over here. A little other spot there. These tiles along here, I need to go through and black wash them anyhow, so I don't mind the little black leaks there and there. Major paint leakage right there. Tail fin came out pretty good. Okay, I had a chip in the paint up here, which I can fix again with a black Sharpie. Now, my thoughts on this, oh yeah, and this side did not come out clear, this side over here came out clear, so I'm going to have to fix that up too. Now, my final thoughts on this, this doesn't get the wah-wah sound, you know, the loser sound, primarily for a couple of reasons. Um, when I was using testers paints, anytime I do a masking job like that, and I don't see anything on here that's bad. There's a couple of spots I need where there's still some tape residue to get rid of, and it's going to need a little bit of touching up with white paint. That's to be expected. Anytime you do a taping job like this, you're going to have a few issues with it. Um, what my goal here was to see is how does the Tamiya paint handle taping? way better than the testers. If I'd done a tape job like that with the testers, the white paint would have been pulling up in numerous places throughout the tape removal process. And with the Tamiya paint, that almost did not happen at all. In fact, I see places where the tape got left behind and stuck to the paint a little too well. I see a couple of places where the tape discolored the paint because that's white paint. But I see no place anywhere on here where the paint pulled up when I pulled the tape up. No primer again, keep in mind, no primer. Some of you guys think there needs to be a primer on everything. Um, I read some articles saying otherwise. These paints are for plastic models. That's a plastic model. The paints are designed to bind to the model. So the need for a primer isn't necessarily there. Primers have their uses, okay? Um, I'm going to put primer on one of the models I'm building very soon. But again, I'm not disappointed with this. It needs cleaning up. Paint jobs like that always need cleaning up. There's no way around it. Bad part is this is a white paint and it's hard to clean up white paint. I'm going to have to pretty much mask off all the black and spray it down with white in certain areas to get that to clean up. But that isn't the end of the world and it isn't horrible, okay? I'm happy with the results. It could have been far, far worse. I'll be back once I get this cleaned up. It's going to take me a day or two to clean this up. Space shuttle, ready for paint, okay? It needs to be taped and ready for paint. And just so you guys know where I'm actually at with these builds, here's the Corsair. The body is 
almost done with all seam filling. I have one or two little tiny spots to do seam filling on. This one, way happier model than this POS. I don't want to cuss on YouTube. Look up POS, you'll know what I'm saying. Okay? This thing has just been a major pain. I am glad it is together. Not completely together. I still got to do the landing gear, but I don't think those are going to be a big deal on that. That thing's ready for some paint. Well, that concludes this segment. I hope you enjoyed. And I will be back once I've cleaned things up and gotten at least a base coat on the 747.